little strike you fancy. If not, I'll find you something. Mm hmm You moved. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. Do you have her damn Show watch? Show me what you have to offer, then. Not yet. You don't have it yet. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. I don't think you're necessarily a bad kid, but you're profiteering off of this lady. And I don't appreciate it. Where are we going? I was just pretending. I caused no harm. I could have taken good care of that old lady. You weren't taking good care of her. You took all her money. Martin's trinkets. I oh. I probably have to break it down. Yeah, that's stuff to break down. Whatever they are. Bag of cheap items. Probably looted. Alright. There we go. Where are you, Seymour? Not Rufus. There you are. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Rufus, you didn't see anything, okay? Nothing happened. I tried to, uh... The first time I played this, I tried to take him down, um, under the dock there where he killed all his other victims and the game won't actually let you take him that far. It will knock him out of the, out of being mesmerized before you get him there. So you, you cannot do that poetic justice, unfortunately. Treat me good, Doctor. Tell me, who will take the blame for your murders now that I'm dead? Okay, I think you had a stash, yes. I don't think the kid had a stash, he just had his... There might be a stash over there. I got a watch and a cigarette case. What's this? Money. All right. Now we need a hideout and sleep. Red Rivers, locate the man's flat. Oh yeah, we need to go right, investigate the guy who just died. Blood sample for serum. Regenerate instantly, then a hundred. Okay, so this is stronger. I keep forgetting about serums as well. And then break some stuff down. Oh, so I guess his isn't, isn't even a breakdown, it's just a cell. Seymour's bludgeon. Common machete. Is this better than this? It's slower. No, it's not better. 
It's not better. And I, I still don't have whatever I need to upgrade. Pretty positive. All right, we have a ton of experience. Let's see. So much stuff. Okay. I'm doing fine without an ultimate, but I think I decided I wanted rage. And this would cost a thousand points. So that's not bad. I'd also like to up these because I do use them. This is almost 3,000. Oh, I haven't picked one. Okay, throw in front of you, deal greater damage. Three small blood spears, which can hit all enemies facing you. Individual damage is reduced, but it will hit all of them, which I think I would like, even if it's spread out. Although I'm doing pretty well with it um, hitting multiple targets, so maybe I shouldn't spread it out. This uses less blood. And its range is different than this one. Okay. We're still using autophagy. Trade more blood to heal yourself instantly, gain an additional boost. Trade instant health gain for greater regeneration. So. Train more blood to heal yourself. Trade the instant health gain for greater regen. I think greater regen would be better. But the instant health gain, I don't know how the regen... I've been using it to instant heal. That's my... I'm worried. I'm concerned that I might not be happy with it. Ugh. Okay, that's a choice to make. This thing I haven't really upgraded. Concentrate your blood in your hands and feet to increase the impact. If your target's already stunned, you embrace them automatically. Concentrate to increase your impact and deal damage around you. That would be better in some instances. Recovery's less. Because if I'm using this, I've been using it to just get close to them. I haven't been using it as a stun tactic, so I think let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these. Blood Spear. Let's stick with how I've been using it. Collaboration. Target's blood will burst out of their body, flowing towards your. Okay, we already we already picked. We already picked. Uh, I haven't decided which one I want. Okay, just making sure. I feel like greater regeneration is better, but having a lower cost... Ugh! That's the thing, like, in the middle of a battle, and I'm fighting, and I'm almost dead, the greater health gain... I'm gonna do it. I did it. Choice has been made. I'm not gonna pick an ultimate yet. Let's see. I've got 5,000 XP left. I like this one because it's different than what we've been using. I'm gonna do it. Now, I need to increase the blood capacity. Because it's at level 2 and you guys are at 4. Is everything at 4? Yeah. I think it tells me it's at level 4? Yes, it does. Okay. The more you know. I want to increase that for sure. And then we have 4,000 experience. This will take 600. 
That'll take 2,000. Ooh, that's that's a whole whole another thousand. That's that's everything I have and then some. Two seventy. So do I want to upgrade this maybe to two thousand, and that would give me two thousand to play with other stuff. Six hundred. That's a thousand. I should increase my stamina. Do this. And then do health. There. I have made my decision. What is immorality? Having your name inscribed in history? Raising children who will honor your memory, earning your place among the saints of heaven. Sean Hampton, founder of the Hampton Asylum in East End, has his opinion on the matter. Eternity comes to those who bear divine presence in themselves. Mr. Hampton, also known as the sad saint for his unequaled empathy toward others and his constant pity for their plight, has created with this asylum a haven for lost souls. He keeps the poor fed and gives them a roof to sleep under. Still, the asylum has now been closed for a few days, and his last accessible orations took a turn towards cult-like worship. If heresy can be defined as faith gone adrift, Sean Hampton and his flock may have been turned into heretics. For the first time since I have known the sad saint, people speak ill of him. In the mysterious chants I heard through the closed door of the shelter worry more than they encourage. As a possible consequence of this suspicion, the sanitary situation of the docks has drastically decreased. Deprived of a place to rest, the poor get sick from sleeping rough, preferring to catch their death under the stars than join an unknown cult. That alone says enough of the tarnished reputation of the sad saint. A reputation that will be restored only when the doors of his asylum open once again. Great. Great. So we are now critical, and you're sick again? Anemia. Oh no, this is this is Fishburn. Okay, so you're sick. You're all better. That's good. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Okay. Okay. All right, but you're better. You're better. Okay, you're not critical anymore. We have fatigue, fatigue, migraine. You're still sick. I haven't healed you. And we haven't seen this place yet. So I have anemia, two fatigue, and the migraine that I can't cure. All right. Two fatigue. One, two, and pneumonia anemia. I also forgot, and I should have done it. Were there people here that I wanted to eat? Oh yeah, you're a four. No, you're a five. I don't know what to do with you guys. I could eat you if I wanted. I don't think we've talked to her since she's come back, so I should go find her, actually. And I thought of maybe eating you. Except, if I eat you, then your brother has no one to help care for him. Don't know what to do with your sad situation, so yeah, this is full of people who I don't know what to do with. You're a four. You guys are a four. Just gotta figure out his situation. I don't want to eat you guys. I like you. You guys- oh. Really? Newton's a three. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I could eat Pippa if I wanted. <laughs> and Milton. Alright. Okay. So we did good. I need to figure out what happened with Sean. You two have a headache. Have fatigue. Okay. So I will, I will go back and 
talk to you guys. Eventually, at some point. Let's leave. Um, let's go talk to you guys. The sewer dog's fault, they say. Then the gangs, the epidemics, everyone's throwing the blame. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Any news about Sean Hampton? Have you got any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? Rumor has it he's died some sort of gang of his own. Soldiers of Christ, something like that. Really? Goodbye, Miss Cox. Can I ask you a question? Without the wet boots, keep you again. Right what do you want? I want to ask you about Sean Hampton's shelter. Have you heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter? It used to be a safe place. I'm not sure that's the case anymore. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Hmm. I trusted you, Sean. I had faith. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Tell me about Sean Hampton's shelter. Have you got any recent news on Sean Hampton's shelter? I've not seen him since he came back to the docks. <laughs> Rumor has it, he's converted his flock to some sort of cult. That's unbelievable. That's true, it is. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Oh, will you two finally do the thing I've been waiting for you to do I for forever? I've never even been to India. Shut the turquoise for a time. You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. Camera angles. Ugh. Any news about the shelter? Have you heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter? Some customers said the sad saint had a vision. Launched himself on a holy crusade. <laughs> Even Dyson Delaney joined up with him. It's more like a cult, if you ask me. Delaney joined up with Goodbye, him. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. With the epidemic, no one dares go outside. Are you guys gonna go do the thing? You know, it would be nice to see each other outside the pub sometime. This situation won't last forever. And after, we'll have plenty of time to plan the future. Good thing we haven't seen Seymour for a while. Even Dyson has stopped coming in every night. The pub's become right peaceful, don't you think? Aww. Yes, go do the thing. I gotta be up there. Does that go around up there? Damn it. Nope. Where do I need to be? Up here? Don't forget to count each bullet you fire. <laughs> you told me that already. <laughs> nice shot. You learn quickly. Pointing an empty gun could be a fatal mistake. It's easier when I picture the bastard's face. Okay. Someone teaching someone to shoot. Not a locked safe. That's good. Is that everything? I think I'm losing my mind. I should just run as far away from this place as I can. So few clients. The epidemic, no one dares go outside. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Uh, why are you teaching Sabrina how to use a gun? Why are you teaching your waitress how to use a pistol? Sabrina is a nice girl who's already faced a lot of problems in her life. She does not need another. What is that supposed to mean? Already, I, I'm not gonna mesmerize you. Tom. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Sabrina, what's going on? Shut the for a 
time. You're still working at this hour? That's what I call dedication. Did I have these? No. Okay, so I have to ask you. About Tom's past incarceration. Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? That's the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He didn't want me hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it surprise you to find out about it? Not really. I was already aware of his reputation before I met him. That's why I came to the Turtle in the first place. Most people would have run away because of that. Not me. I thought a man like him could give me stability, you know? At least to some degree. And I wasn't mistaken. Hmm. Has he renounced his life of crime? Tell me, Sabrina. Do you really believe Tom has renounced his life of crime? He proves it to me every day he tells the truth. Tom Watts is a good man. One of the best. And you don't think he might fall back into his sordid ways? We can all do terrible things, Dr. Reed. And we never know what we're really capable of until it's too late. Hmm. Why do you have a gun? I know you've been learning to use a gun, Sabrina. What are you up to? I just want to feel safe when I go home at night. I don't think this matters, but... No, we already have all her hints. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Um... Guns are dangerous? Guns are not toys, and are certainly not to be handled when one is agitated. I don't care. Next time some drunk bastard tries to drag me into the yard, he'll be the one bleeding. Hey, you know what? More power to you, girl. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. I'm fine with that. Let's go talk to Mrs. Fishburn. Give her her meds. Seymour is gone. Hey, Rufus. Good evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. You seem happier than before. I live with Mrs. Fishburne now, in her house. I have a bed and everything. Oh, well that's good to hear. How's your new life going? So how is your new life going? Good. I have a roof over my head and warm meals. Mrs. Fishburne is the best. But she's so sad. I hear her crying at night. Even if she did take you in, Mrs. Fishburne lost her son, who she loved very much. I know, but it makes me feel funny. I should feel bad for being here after Seymour died, not happy. That's not true. You... You should help her. Try to help her as much as she helps you, Rufus. Help each other through the grief. Mrs. Fishburne has been like a mother to me, and it's my turn to help her the best I can. Feelings about Seymour's death? Tell me your feelings about Seymour's death, Rufus. I am sad for Mrs. Fishburne, not for her dead son. I was afraid of him and his threats. I don't think a lot of people will miss him. Hmm. Any news about Sean Hampton Shelter? Heard anything about Sean Hampton Shelter lately? I rarely go near there, but rumour has it the place is restricted. Only members chosen by Mr. Hampton are allowed in. Huh. Okay. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Let's go talk to her. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course. Dr. Reid. Too long, sir. I'm so sorry about your loss, Mrs. Fishburne. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Could you check Rufus's health for me, please? I've been taking care of this young nipper since my poor Seymour died. Very well. But why so nervous? Even if he lives with me now, Rufus still spends too much time outside. He grew up in the streets, you see. And he's kept his old habits. 
Fair enough. What about your health? Mrs. Fishburne, are you in need of any medical assistance? I am afraid I am, Doctor. I don't feel well at all. Let's fix you up. Then let me give you a prescription. I thank you for your generosity, sir. It's something this part of town truly needs. Any news about the shelter? Do you have any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? I heard you can't go there anymore unless you share his faith. A bit queer, don't you think? <sighs> um, so you live with Rufus now? So, you live here with Rufus now? And how is everything? Yeah, we both had our share of tragedy. I suppose it's a relief not to be alone in life. Did Rufus talk to you about his past? I knew the boy had a hard time in the streets, but I had no idea how miserable he really was. And I suspect he won't tell me all that he remembers. It's odd that the question is you live here now with Rufus, not Rufus now lives here with you? About Seymour's death. I'd like to know more about your son's death, Stella. I was so afraid to see Seymour arrested and executed that I never thought about him being murdered. Oh dear. I'm sure his last thoughts were for you, Mrs. Fishburne. <sighs> Seymour was a terrible threat to the community. But he truly loved you. Your words break my heart as much as they bring me peace, Dr. Reed. How do you mean? The murder of my son made me understand what the other families must have felt. I shouldn't have protected him for so long. To endure true guilt may be punishment enough, Mrs. Fishburne. And we all have to bear that cross. You are a good person, Dr. Reed. I wish we'd met sooner. Hmm. Um, yeah. In the end, Seymour avoided being judged for what he did. Does that not disturb you, Stella? For months, my greatest fear was to see my son being arrested and hanged. Now that he's dead, no one will ever know. Do you believe your son could have avoided being caught forever? I have no idea. Sometimes I, I felt like he was becoming more and more careless. Perhaps he wanted to be caught. Maybe. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. Okay. Game saved. I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. Is this really over? I've been nothing but worried. The fear, the hunger, the icy cold. I can't believe it. I'm sure that's a bit of a shock to be certain. Okay, before we go figure out what's up with Sean, um, there's these markers. So some something, lots of things happened. Um, what's this for? Locate the man's flat. Oh yeah, the guy that the guy that died. Oh, stuff happened over here too. New dialogue available. Talk to Swansea. What's 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 this one? Zoom in. New dialogue. Okay, so we need to go we need to go talk to some people. Alright. Um we also have a new character to talk to, and I think he's over here somewhere. Ooh, that looks, yes, that looks openable. Wait, I heard somebody talking. Is he down here? There he is. Good evening, sir. I'm amazed you made it back to the docks alone. Good for you. Well, I could say the same about you, young man. More to the point, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. And I am Archer Woodbead. Please excuse my assertiveness. I often forget I'm just an old prune. <laughs> um, you're doing fine. 
Okay. Um, any news about Sean Hampton Shelter? Do you have any recent news on Sean Hampton Shelter? I read that given enough time, any intention, no matter how good, can rot and sour. If half the things I've heard about this place are true, that theory is soundly proven. Hmm. Bad news all around. Let's see what's going on in London. What can you tell me about this part of town? What can you tell me about this part of town? People used to feel safe around here. They had the gangs protecting them. Now all they do is bicker and plot against one another. Hmm. The gangs really protect people? Miss the good old days? Missing the good old days, are you not? Trust me, son. The longer you live, the less meaning your existence will have. You need to remember the days you still had beliefs. Hmm. What about the gangs? And what about the gangs? Back in my day, people trusted the wet boot boys. We looked out for the docks and its families. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of greedy fuckers. You were a gang member? I was their leader for a time, believe it or not. Now these bastards act like a nothing. Not one of them. They owe me some damn respect. Hmm. Okay. Stories about the docks? If you were such a respected figure, surely you have many interesting stories about this part of town. You bet I do, but make no mistake. I'm no rat, sir. Some secrets are best left buried. Wow. Um, since... It seems like the game wants you to go in a clockwise direction, so we'll just do that. Who would you trust? Who would you trust around here? The owner of the Turquoise Turtle's a decent fella. Tom's his name. Sean Hampton's all right, too. Don't particularly share his religious views. He's quite devout, if you catch my meaning. People from the old days? Do you still know anyone? From the old days, I mean. Most of them are dead. I still give Miss Gillingham salutations. She doesn't remember me. She did once like me. Boy, <laughs> she was a beauty back then. Hmm. Any new faces? Any remarkable new faces around here? Nobody. Well, there's that boy Rufus the Curse. I like him, despite the reputation he's made since his parents died. Poor little bastard. Strange or weird characters? I'm sure a district as colorful as the docks must have plenty of stories about strange visitors and creepy characters. So, you want me to talk about the sewer dog, don't you? If you don't mind. The sewer dog is a bitch. Appropriately named. An old woman dressed in rags. She has an elegance, though. Despite her ugliness. I saw her once. Scared the life out of me. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Why? Have you always been so bitter? Um... Tell me about the Guard of Prewin. Tell me everything you know about the Guard of Prewin. Andrew never told me what they do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training. Access to some impressive firepower. And what is your personal opinion about the Guard, then? This Guard of Prewin is just another gang preying on the young and naive. Preying on people like my boy. I know how it works. I invented it. You invented it? What does that mean? <laughs> Have you always been so bitter? It's not bitterness. It's poorly masked disgust. <laughs> when everything turns to shit, we all have to eat a spoon or two. Okay. Oh, um, does this matter? Uh, don't think it does. Things will be better in the future. Eh. Old people always complain. With everything that's happened recently, the war, Spanish flu. I must concede that these are difficult times. A few nights ago, I saw a kid eating a rat. He was right in front of one of those abandoned houses nearby. Just chewing on a living rat's insides. Ugh. Tell me about the Wet Boot Boys. Tell me about the Wet Boot Boys, Archer. I want to know more. We were there for the families and each other. It was us against the world. We were vicious, tough, even cruel. But we were united. You sound like you were some kind of radical union member. 
Yes, nowadays the communists and gangs squabble over pointless territory. Sounds stupid when you say it out loud. <laughs> Why did your son join? Why did your son really join the guard of Prewen? If I believed in a higher power, I'd see this as punishment for my own sins. I deserve it for all the young men I enlisted back in the day. So why did he join? You don't believe in God though, do you, Mr. Woodbeat? So why did he join? Now I think about it. Andrew joined the guard, not to defy me, but to follow in my footsteps, to make me proud. Did he give an explanation? So your son has left you nothing to explain his actions? No letter or message? Not even a note. I'm a proud man, Dr. Reed. But I would kneel and pray if I thought it would give me my Andrew back. And that's it. That's all we get from him. I could eat him if I wanted. He's worth a decent amount of experience. Goodbye, sir. I kind of wish we had a side quest to go find and talk to his son. I think that would have been interesting, but not an option. Okay, we were going to figure out... Did I mark it? No. We were going to figure out what this is. So let's go do that. <laughs>